Now, you know, when it comes to videos like this, my first response is normally pareidolia. When they be showing us these images on these planets or different things and these rocks and stuff like that, I'll be looking at it and they be thinking it's something I, I automatically go to pareidolia. So I'm going to see, can I get through this video and not be saying I, it's going to be hard for me? You know what I mean? But I want to see. So this video here is the top 10 terrifying photos from space NASA can't even explain. All right. So if you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Let's check it out. The infinite vastness of space is truly baffling, and there is so much out there that we can't see, and even more that we don't know exists at all. And if that alone doesn't both freak you out and intrigue you, then these will. Hey there, welcome back to Most Amazing. I'm Connor, and today we're gonna hang out and talk about my favorite topic, the terrifying yet beautiful nature of space. Here are the top 10 terrifying photos from space NASA can't even explain. Stay tuned for our number one because it is actually one of my biggest fears, even as a space lover. Obviously, NASA NASA is full of some super smart folks, so some of these will have some scientific reasoning behind them, but even those still have some mystery surrounding them. Are there any I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into it. Number 10, Zombie Star. While the idea of a human coming back to life and hunting for brains is spooky, to me the knowledge that dead stars can do the same, even the eating each other part, is both scary and exciting. This is Tycho, a former white dwarf, which is a star that has, quote, died and- Looks like a giant- Bacteria, doesn't that's, that's what it looks like. Hiding. This is Tycho, a former white dwarf, which is a star that has, quote, died and gone supernova, exploding into a fantastic show of cosmic energy and matter with the power and brightness of a billion suns. And usually a white dwarf will stay dead, but not in a binary system where there's more than one star at the center. Sometimes these previously deceased stars can come back to life. They do this by feeding off the energy and material from their neighboring star and powering themselves back up, not unlike a zombie eating somebody's brains. Some but that's a great comparison though because that's would have been the first thing that came to my mind if he would have referenced zombie just the way he described that sounds like that to me Bring star and powering themselves back up, not unlike a zombie eating somebody's brains. Scientists believe that this may have to do with what they call dark energy as well, which theoretically makes up about three quarters of our universe, but since we have yet to truly detect or understand it, these zombie stars will remain a mystery. But they look super cool, right? Number nine, Alien Bones. Captured on August 14th, 2014 by the Curiosity rover, this photo appears to show something on the surface of Mars that could chill you to the bone, a femur on the surface of the red planet. Many conspiracy theorists and alien enthusiasts alike hopped onto this to show it as proof that there was once life on Mars, or even that humans had been there before on some sort of secret mission that went awry. NASA has gone on the record to say that it's not a thigh bone, but just a rock that happened to be shaped that way after erosion from wind or water, which we have proven existed at one point. But come on, if it really was a bone, do you think that they'd tell us? Though I'm- That's true. That's true. And I've said that and echoed that same sentiment. But at the same time, bro, I can understand why somebody would take that for a bone. And just the close resemblance in that is just uncanny. Come on. Like, hey, I get that one. And then at the same time, you're looking for stuff. So you want to believe something that may not necessarily be true or what it is. So I get that. Been existed at one point, but come on. If it really was a bone, do you think that they'd tell us? Though I'm inclined to go with the scientists on this one, it would be kind of cool if we had proof of aliens on Mars. If you think there are aliens out there, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help us bring you the most amazing videos on them. Number eight, Eye of Sauron. The Rings of Power just finished its first season as I'm recording this video, and since I still have Tolkien on the brain, this photo of the Fomalhaut system made the cut. A relatively young system at 440 million years old, for comparison, our sun is about 4.5 billion years old, Fomalhaut and its surroundings surrounding disk of space dust have been the subject of a lot of controversy in the astronomical community. The images captured interest scientists not only because they look like they came straight from Mordor, but because of the zombie planet that has been tricky to find. The photos taken show that the dust ring is not centered around the star, but is shifted and elongated into the eye shape, which indicates something of large mass on the outer parts of the system, which scientists believed could be a Saturn-sized planet. Investigations have been conflicting over the past few years, with researchers believing on and off that the planet exists, and with Hubble images being inconclusive, which is why we call it a zombie planet, because it keeps coming back to life in a way amongst researchers. The system may have gotten its strange ring shape from all of the con- That's, That reminds me of the movie, what is it now? What is the, the, 
the um, magician movie. Ah, I can't think of the name. But now you see me. I think that's it. But that's what that's what it reminds me of. Because remember, they always talked about what? The eye, the eye, the eye, the eye this, the eye that. So seeing that just makes me think about that. To life in a way amongst researchers. The system may have gotten its strange ring shape from all of the comet activity as well, with over 2,000 comet impacts daily. Many of those comets being over one kilometer wide. That would definitely kick up a lot of dust. So one does not simply walk into Fulmahut. Number seven, Sunken. Okay, I threw this one in because it's currently spooky season while I record this, and having a jack o' lantern sun on the list couldn't be passed up. In 2014, the Solar Dynamics Observatory captured this creepy photo of the sun smiling right at us like its features had been carved right out why did that look like it was getting ready to explode though out of a pumpkin. Solar flares and activity on the sun can be quite unpredictable, and the fact that it lined up to look like this is pretty cool. I just hope that there isn't some giant alien up there carving into our sun to decorate their intergalactic porch. But if that's the case, what are we gonna dress up Earth as? If Earth had a Halloween costume, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. No All right, now he ain't taking it too far. Number six, greater pumpkin galaxies. Sticking with the Halloween theme, 120 million light years away in the Canis Major constellation, these two galaxies, called NGC 2292 and 2293 have earned a much cooler name, the Greater Pumpkin Galaxies. Because of their orange color and the fact that they look like a jack-o'-lantern, these galaxies doomed to collide in what we will see as slow motion make for a pretty spectacular image. Not to mention that NASA released the photos on Halloween a few years ago. Though it may be a fun Halloween-themed image, there is a scary truth about them. They're on track to collide with each other. And as the two galaxies draw closer, they begin to spin around one another and could eventually form one single spiral galaxy. But when that happens, there will be some cosmic consequences. Things smashing into each other at ludicrous speeds and exploding out into the darkness with the force of many nuclear bombs. But we don't actually know what will happen until it does. While some may say it reminds them of the Great Pumpkin, I would say that it looks more like a 100,000 light year across Jack Skellington. Number five, the face of Mars. This freaky famous photo was taken by the Viking One Orbiter in 1976 and shows us what is very clearly a I thought I was going to be able to make it through. I wasn't. Pareidolia. Right there. Pareidolia. <laughs> I got to call it what it is, man. It's taken by the Viking One Orbiter in 1976 and shows us what is very clearly a face embedded in the surface of Mars. A massive one at that, judging by the scale of what's around it. It very clearly has two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Uncanny, really. Especially for being what NASA has called a cosmic coincidence. Because with enough time and space, literally anything can happen. When investigated again in 2001 with a better camera, it was not to be seen. Was it just a mound of rocks and dirt that was blown or moved away, or was it something more or was it something more sinister, watching us from the red planet, not knowing that we were finally looking back? Number four, black hole in the Milky Way. Black holes, one of the biggest driving forces in the cosmos. These places of pure darkness were once stars that shone bright in the sky, but when they died, instead of going supernova and exploding into a blast of color and energy, they collapsed in on themselves, creating a singularity so dense that it sucks everything around it in, with a force that nothing can escape, not even light. And while this may sound scary, they are incredibly necessary for our understanding of the universe to function. In fact, there are a few of them. Yeah and can combine and grow bigger and also radiate things from it that it's eaten and send it back out slowly like it's so much. Our galaxy, but the biggest is Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. This is the second image ever captured of a black hole, and it's insane that we've developed the technology to be able to find and photograph them. Sag A sits at the center of our galaxy and is the reason why it spins and has its signature spiral shape. But the scary part is that it is not only spinning our galaxy, but consuming it, adding one more way that our galaxy can meet its demise. Not sure I'd rather that or colliding with another galaxy. Either way, none of us are going to be around to see it. Number three, hand. And see, that's the thing. We need time to see what it's what it could possibly do or turn into. You know, it was once a star that collapsed upon itself and then it turned into a black hole, vacuuming everything around it into it. Is it vacuuming everything around it into it, using the energy to grow itself back into a star or what is it going to do long term? That's why we need time to see where what that could turn out to be you know what i'm saying 
and of God. This is what's known as a pulsar wind nebula, and what you're seeing is a cloud of material that was ejected from a dying star, captured by X-ray telescopes functioning at different energy levels, lower energy detections appearing in red and green, and higher ones in blue. While we can explain what this stellar specter is made of, we can't quite figure out why it takes the shape it does, and NASA is still wondering if the pulsar particles are interacting in a specific way to make it look like a hand. When the new readings were taken, the ones appear in blue, they realize that one part of the hand is actually shrinking at a different speed than the rest, implying that the two areas were physically different, and making us all wonder what the hand is reaching towards. Number two, Ghost Nebula. Known formally as SH2-136, really rolls off the tongue, this reflection nebula has some pretty startling shapes appearing within it. A reflection nebula does exactly what you think. It reflects light from nearby stars and galaxies. The energy from stars nearby is not strong enough to ionize the gas of the nebula, but it is enough to illuminate the dust and make it visible to us. Looking at the picture, it's a no-brainer why it's earned its much cooler name, the Ghost Nebula. You can see little figures waving from the edge of the space cloud. They even appear to have horns. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm here for it. Give me all the spooky space specters. Again, this is just one of those cosmic coincidences that we can't explain, and that if we existed at any other place in the universe, we may not see. So powerful name though, the Hand of God. You know what I'm saying? Looking at that. Could it be named anything else? No, that, that's perfect for it. We're pretty lucky, I guess. But let's hope our luck holds out for our final entry. Number one, roaming black holes. Now, I told you about black holes, those things that suck in and destroy anything that comes near, even light, with no chance to escape. But they are pretty detectable, and we should be able to avoid them since they're such a huge cosmic entity, right? Well, what if I told you that there are many out there that are near impossible to detect? because they're moving. That's right, known as roaming black holes, these death spheres fly through our universe devouring everything in their path. Only detectable by fluctuations in mass and light, they were most likely two black holes that attracted each other, then slingshotted off one another and were flung out into space. But here's the kicker. The Hubble telescope actually detected one closer than anyone would want, in our own Milky Way. While pointed near the center of the galaxy at Sagittarius A, a fluctuation in light and space shows that we may have one one of these devouring our galaxy. And we would never see it coming until it was too late. So there you go. One of my, and possibly now one of your fears, roaming black holes. Space is crazy and terrifying. It is absolutely baffling and will never cease to impress me the technology and knowledge we have developed in our time as a species to investigate beyond our own planet. Especially since, at the end of the day, we're all just monkeys with car keys. That's all I have for you today. I'm Connor, stay amazing, and I'll see you next time. And this is why I say black holes are important. We need to continue to study and learn as much as we can. You know what I'm saying? Not only can they just travel, they can spawn just anywhere. So they can spawn like right next to us. And, and that changes everything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we got to continue to to study black holes, bro. It's just so much more information we're going to be able to, to, to gather from them as well as you know, <laughs> trying to figure out what happens if one does pop up next to us and and change things. So, I don't know, man. Y'all get at me in the comment section. I made it through with only saying Peridolio one time. Surprise, one time. But this was actually some good photos, though. Some good information as well. Shout out to the most amazing top 10 for the video. All right, it's your boy. Y'all get at me. Let me know what you think and stick around and stay tuned. Next one, I'm gone. Peace.